Fishing in Belize. Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be discussing the fisheries sector of Belize. At the end of watching this video, you will be able to describe the factors influencing the location of fishing in Belize, explain the benefits associated with the fishing industry in Belize, discuss the problems associated with the fishing industry of Belize, and describe solutions to the problems faced by the fishing industry of Belize. We can broadly group fish into the categories of fin fish and shellfish. Fin fish can be further categorized into demersal and pelagic fish. Demersal fish live and feed near the seabed, while pelagic fish live and feed near the surface. According to the Food and Agricultural Organization, a fishery is an activity leading to harvesting of fish and may involve capture of wild fish or raising of fish through aquaculture. Fishery can mean either the economic activity of raising or harvesting fish or the place where such activity is carried out. All economic activities are related in one way or another to the environment. Primary industries such as fishing, which involves extraction and harvesting of raw materials, are directly related to the environment. If the resources being extracted are not carefully managed, then the industry itself will have an uncertain future. It is for this reason that Belize's fisheries have two sides to it. The environmental side, where the resource is managed, and the economic side, where the resource is extracted and sold to make a profit. The balance of the two is necessary for sustainable development to be achieved. Fish grow wild on fishing grounds, but are also reared on fish farms. The mature fish from both environments are harvested and sold for profit. Now let's examine the map. The Belize Barrier Reef Complex includes mangrove forests, river deltas, estuaries, sea grass beds, coastal lagoons along with the coral reefs. Additionally, about 19, re 19 rivers from the interior empty into this coastal system, bringing nutrients to the sea. All these provide fishing grounds which support many important species. The coral reefs shown in blue on the map include the Belize Barrier Reef, which runs in a north to south direction, along with three offshore atolls, which lie to the east of the Barrier Reef in the deep oceanic waters.
the area in pink on the map shown along the coast represent shrimp farms. Where aquaculture is carried out, the fish can be carefully managed at every stage of their development while the environment is still being cared for. Though the fish on the reefs grow in the wild, they must also be managed in order to sustain the industry. The areas in purple on the map indicate the areas of the Belize Barrier Reef Reserve System. To the north is an area in orange showing the location of the Corozal Bay Wildlife Sanctuary. Now let's examine the factors which influence the location of the fishing industry of Belize. These factors include availability of raw materials, availability of labor, transport, energy, market, as well as the role of the government. The raw material for this industry is shellfish as well as finfish, which are harvested both on fish farms as well as fishing grounds. Lobster, conch, and shrimp are Belize's most lucrative seafood exports. Traditionally, Snappers and groupers are the base of the finfish export industry. Shrimp catches have been overtaken by aquaculture. And now shrimp is the main fish reared in Belize. Both lobster and conch are taken along the reef and within the atolls. Both conch and lobster are caught by free diving. Traps are set to catch the lobsters. Fin fish are usually caught using hand lines along the deep slope and bank. Hand lining is a technique in which a line with a baited hook is lowered into the water from an anchored or moving boat. When the fish takes the bait, it can then be hauled in by hand. Fin fish are also traditionally caught using gillnets. A gillnet is designed to catch fish by allowing only their heads to get through a wall-like mesh, thereby entrapping them by the gills. However, gillnets trap everything so that they end up killing both the targeted species as well as those that are not targeted. Thus, gillnets are now considered as a dangerous fishing method. Though a high formal education is not required for the job of a fisherman, the skills needed to carry out the job should never be underestimated. 
most fishermen live in fishing villages and their whole way of life is related in one way or another to fishing. As such, youngsters who grow up in a fishing village often develop their skills from the adult fishermen right there in the community in an almost natural way. The fisher folks generally support each other. During lobster and conch season, when the fishermen have to stay out at sea for days, they often stay in fishing camps. Since these fishing camps are closer to the fishing grounds, they help the fishermen to save on gas. Most fishermen belong to one of the fishing cooperatives in Belize. The cooperatives buy the catch, process it, and export it. And at the end of the year, the profits are distributed to the members as a second pay. Some cooperatives also raise funds to provide fishermen with sick pay as well as pension upon retirement. Fishermen travel by land and water in Belize. For example, some fishermen who live in the northern communities leave their boats in southern Belize and use public road transport to go home. Furthermore, just before fishers go off on their long trip to the sea during lobster season, they have to move about from one place to another by road to gather all the items they will need while at sea. When they return with the catch, road transportation is also needed for the distribution of the fish since not all will be sold at the landing site. Water transportation is necessary to the fishermen. It is vital to their jobs. Fishers rely on their fishing vessels to take them out to the various fishing grounds to catch their fish. The fishing vessels also serve as a means by which the fish which is caught is stored. Not all fishers stay on fishing camps while at sea. Some actually sleep in their fishing vessels. Energy is mainly needed in the form of fuel for the fishing vessels. Fortunately for the Belizean fishermen, there are local gas stations along the coast where the fishers can top up on their gas without leaving their fishing vessels. However, fuel prices are expensive. Only about 10% of the lobster, conch, and shrimp are sold on the local market. The majority of fish sold on the local market is fin fish. The main fish market is the Conchshell Bay Fish Market located in downtown Belize. It sits on a small bridge over a canal fed by the Belize River. Fishermen come right up to the curb in their boats to sell their fish. Vendors then clean and prepare the day's catch. Other fish markets are located in Corozal Town, Dan Griga, and Punta Garda Town, shown on the map.
about 90% of the lobster, conch, and pond shrimp produced in Belize are sold directly to foreign export market. The main foreign market is the USA. Other markets include Europe and Japan. Guatemala and Jamaica are the main importers of Belizean finfish products. The National Fishermen Cooperative in Belize City processes and packages lobster and conch for the export market. Shrimp is also carefully processed and packaged for export. Cooperatives are important sources of capital for the Belize fishers. The cooperatives make loans to fishermen for the purchase of items such as outboard motors. The fishing industry is provided with foreign aid as well. Now on to the role of the government. The main role of the government is that of managing the fisheries resources. Management include the designation of marine protected areas, protection of certain species, creating open and closed fishing seasons, designation of size limits, as well as designation of gear restrictions. The fisheries department uses an observation tower as well as drones to observe what is happening at sea. Patrolmen are also dispatched to check on fishermen to ensure that they are licensed and are following the rules and regulations. Now the fishing industry benefits Belize in a number of ways. Fishing contributes to employment directly and indirectly. Indirect employment involves all the related industries, such as those who make boats and other fishing equipment, those who work in processing plants, as well as those who do vending. Lobster, conch, and farmed shrimp, as well as some fin fish, are sold abroad and helps the country to earn foreign exchange. The fisheries sector also contributes to GDP. Fish is also an important contributor to the to the food security in Belize. The fish is also an important source of raw material to food processing industries. 
it is also important for local restaurants. Marine tourism is linked to the fishing industry. Many tourists are engaged in sport fishing where fish are caught and then released back into the sea. Fishing also contributes to rural development in Belize. Even though the fishing industry provides many benefits to Belize, there are also many problems associated with the industry. Land-based pollution from sources such as agriculture, which can hurt marine life as well as destroy fishing grounds such as mangroves and coral reefs is one problem. Destructive fishing methods such as the use of gill nets can also damage coral reefs. Overfishing can lead to the extinction of fish and other marine life. There is an increasing competition for fish as more and more fishers enter the Belizean waters. In fact, even fishers from other countries illegally fish on Belize's fishing grounds. Not only is this causing a decrease in the fish stock, it is also forcing fishermen to go further and further out into the deep waters where fishing is very dangerous. Fishermen also face the danger of adverse weather conditions such as storms and unfortunately many lives have been lost to the sea. Since most of Belize's export goes to the USA, it causes an over-dependence. This dependency increases risk and increases Belize's vulnerability to sudden economic changes. Additionally, Belizean fishermen also face the problem of high fuel prices. So what are some of the solutions to some of these problems? The decrease of fish stock is slowed by creating closed seasons for certain species such as conch. Cooperatives also set a quota which limits the amount of catch so that more fish can be preserved in the sea. Certain fishing techniques are also restricted to prevent young fish from being killed. Fishermen are given clear warnings during the times of adverse weather conditions. To offset some of their expenses, fishermen are able to get loans from cooperatives. Alternative means of earning incomes are also being developed for fishermen to combat the problem of the high level of competition at sea. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.